Dear ladies and gentlemen, my name is Markus Militzer, Managing Director of the company MBA in Germany. First, I would like to thank Ms. Linda Luna Root and her team for their efforts to make this workshop possible today here in the Norsk Maritime Museum. Second, I would like to introduce our partner here in Norway, Ole Rokold, in cooperation with Glasbau Hahn. Today, I would like to talk to you about flexible exhibition design and introduce to you module awards. If you would be in charge to design an exhibition, how would the ideal space look like? How would the walls in the space look like? Let's start with looking at some international museum references who use modular walls for their changing exhibitions. With this photo, we have removed the art objects so that the eye is focused on the walls. We see the Taubman Museum of Art with three and a half meter high walls. And in this case, the walls are installed as a monolithic wall in eight meters length and half meter depth. The same photo, this time with art objects. The museum is using nailable walls where the art can be hung directly to the wall module. The number one in art fairs, the Art Basel, is using about 8,000 walls for their art shows in Basel and Miami. The walls are three and a half meters high and nailable to fix the art objects directly to the walls. And for the Art Basel, a fast and easy connection technique is essential because by installing 8,000 walls every time for the art shows, every minute counts. But also sustainability is important when a customer decides to buy modular walls and lastly, the high aesthetics of a clean and pure wall with no visible hardware is important. If we look at the current situation in many museums, we notice that approximately four to six times per year the exhibitions are changed. For the wall design within the exhibitions, some museums are still using wood materials or gypsum board, which means a big labor effort to mount and paint the materials, a very limited flexibility after installation and a big effort to dismantle and most of the materials have to be disposed after dismantling. This is a total effort that I don't want to estimate. The alternative is the use of a modular exhibition system that you should choose after the following criteria. Design, that means shape and color, is quite possible one of the most important criteria to guarantee a very high aesthetic quality. Handling, how simple or complicated is the system in installation and dismantle. How flexible is the system for different building shapes and wall configurations. And the economic efficiency how many personnel is necessary for installation and dismantle? Can owned personnel do the handling or is qualified personnel required? And how much time is needed for installation? Transport and storage is a criteria that is many times underestimated. And the utilization period. How long can the system be in use? and how compatible is it over the years. Meaning if you decide for a system today, is it available and compatible for the next six to 10 years? What additional options does a war system offer? For example, alarm systems, the use as an interactive speaker wall, or maybe even sound absorbing walls. Service is important consultation about the right system, heights, width, colors, 
and wall configurations on site in your museum. Training of your staff how to use a modular wall system. You can have the best system, but if your people don't know how to use it, it's useless. And supporting in planning and design of exhibitions or maybe even a simple planning software. As developer and manufacturer of walls, we have developed a modular wall system that is very cost effective in the long term and that I would like to introduce to you now. Flexibility is essential in designing exhibitions. This is the copper plate museum in Dresden. They are using about 150 wall elements to design their exhibitions. They have a space of about 400 square meters. And for every exhibition, they change the design of the walls in their space. The wall elements are two and a half meters high, 1.2 meters wide, and the museum paints the wall so no gaps where the walls join together are visible. This is another exhibition in the same museum, but with a totally different building shape. Here we see long, straight wall runs, all painted in green. In the next picture we see different wall configurations again, and this time painted in white, yellow and grey. And in this uh, exhibition they have painted the walls in red and again a totally different space atmosphere. So four different exhibitions all in the same space with the same modular walls but the visitor has a totally different experience and that is important to be able with modular walls to design exhibitions individually to inspire your visitors every time with a totally new exhibition. Let's have a closer look on how it works and we have some large samples here as well. An essential criteria of a wall system is the connection technique. Therefore we have developed and patented a technique that is built into the 40 millimeter thickness of a wall module. So as you can see here in the pictures, bring the walls together, lift them up with a lever roller, so Tom and Ruth catch, lower the wall module, finish. And Andreas will give you a demonstration on how it works with real walls. So bring the walls together, Tom and Ruth catch, lower, finished. So a very simple and fast connection technique with no visible hardware from the outside. Mila wall modules look like simple walls but there is quite some detail inside the wall. From the outside you see only a pure, neutral and timeless wall and that is important. No fancy, trendy designs, just a pure wall that is neutral to any kind of building architecture, but also timeless to be used for many years, and even more important, timeless and neutral against the art objects that are displayed on the walls. Inside the wall, we see cardboard honeycomb, that is glued together with the aluminum frame and the chipboard cover sheets. So the composite of the materials make the walls very stable but very light. And the aluminum frame all around the wall is a real advantage against a wooden frame. It prevents from bending or warping. But the all-sided aluminum frame has another important function it protects the chipboard cover sheets from damages on the edges. In the corners, we always have these corner blocks. So the wall is the same on the left side 
and the right side on top and bottom. This is the maximum flexibility of a wall, for example, like a Lego. The walls are covered with a removable surface covering. We will show that later on in the workshop. And this surface covering can be changed. It also can be painted in any color. Walls with an inside layer, as you can see here, are nailable and uh, they have a capacity of 20 kilograms per nail. The alternative is the use of picture hangers or picture rails that can be simply attached to the top U-profile uh, channel of a wall module. If light on the walls is used, an electrical conduit and a transformer box can be integrated in the wall module. So the entire electrification is in the wall and not visible from the outside. Custom options are solid wood layers in the wall to fix heavy art objects, or cutouts for showcases or monitors. For different building shapes, we offer a variety of corner solutions, such as a straight 1 times 90 degree profile, or 135 degrees, 90 degrees with 135 degrees, and we also have a, a grid-independent wall connection, which is very important because this wall connection can be attached to any position of a wall long uh, of a long wall run. So you are not depending on a certain grid of walls. This is the same principle, grid-independent as well, but also angle-independent. And we also have the same profile for the corner solution where every angle can be adjusted. MBA has developed an alarm wall to meet the following requirements. Monitoring of art objects without distraction for the visitor and with no influence on the aesthetic of the art object. The flexibility of a wall module should also be not limited with single-sided or double-sided alarm, if you want to use the walls on both sides, and with an optical or acoustical alarm on site so that the security personnel knows that something is not okay, or with an announcement to an alarm facility. How does the capacitive monitoring inside the wall work? Electrodes are built inside the wall modules. These create an electrical field in front of the wall that surrounds the art object. And if this electrical field is changed by persons or objects, an alarm is released. The electrical field usually begins uh, at about one meter from the bottom of the wall and ends in about two meters height and can be, the, sensitiv the sensitivity can be adjusted in nine different steps, up to 400 millimeters in front of the wall. We have a small sample here with an alarm wall and Andreas will give you a demonstration. So if you are too close to the wall, the alarm is released. Sound wall. Imagine you have an exhibition in your museum and you can create a very special atmosphere with background noises or background music without having black loudspeaker boxes that disturb the aesthetics. We have developed walls with special voice coils inside that put the entire wall surface into vibrations in the principle of a flat loudspeaker. We have one of these sound walls here. So in this wall that you can see here, we have put in three voice coils. And I will try now to connect my mobile phone by Bluetooth to that wall and give you a demonstration on how it sounds.
And with Multimedia Wall, we bring audio and video together for interactive use. So with sensors inside the wall, visitors can choose and change the content. All the multimedia technique like player, uh, monitor and sensors are built inside the wall module into the 40 millimeter thickness of the wall. In some museums, acoustics can be a problem. In this case, we see here the Museum for Archaeology in Herne. They have a changing exhibition space with a hard floor, hard ceiling, and hard walls. So they have difficult acoustics with quite some reverberations. Together with the well-known Fraunhofer Institute, we have developed walls with sound-absorbing objectives. The walls look almost the same, but sound can be absorbed and the acoustic can be improved. To show you the difference, I have two sound files that I would like to play now. The first example is this space with normal wall. So uh, you can hear in a minute that it's very hard to understand the speaker because of all the reverberations. The second example is with sound absorbing wall and you will hear the difference. It's a lot less reverberations and it's easier to understand the speaker. In doing so, he became the founder of modern acoustical engineering. He went on to design the acoustics of bus and symphony hall, still considered one of the best halls in music in the world. In doing so, he became the founder of modern acoustical engineering. He went on to design the acoustics of Bus and Symphony Hall, still considered one of the best halls for music in the world. So I have explained now one of our Miller Wall series to you, but let me give you a quick overview of the other wall systems that we offer depending on your requirements and your budget. Series 100 all the way on the left. I have explained to you is 40 millimeter thick with the aluminum frame all around the wall. Series uh, 160 is the same construction but 60 millimeters thick. Sometimes it matters due to proportion when the walls are high, they should be a little bit thicker just for design reason. Series 200 is with the aluminum frame vertically. Series 300 is with the all sided wood frame. And series 400 comes with a rotor lock connection and the wood frame. Series 628 is 28 millimeters thick with the wood frame and series 660, 60 millimeters thick with the wood frame. The series 100 and 160 with the aluminum frame have the all sided edge protection and are tested for safety by the German TUV Institute. So different uh, solutions for a wide variety of applications. Transport and storage we uh, talked earlier about, a topic that is oftentimes underestimated. We have developed transport carts in which the walls are stored upright on the aluminum edge. So there is no surface pressure when walls are laying on top of each other. The transport carts can be easily collapsed when not in use to save volume. They have casters so that are easy, they are easy to move and they can be stacked on top of each other. A dust cover uh, protects from dust and moisture. 25 walls can be loaded in one transport container and the outside dimensions can be customized to consider doorways or elevators. And here is an example of a lighter transport cart for about 10 to 15 watts. You now have an overview about the Mila wall technique. Let's talk about what makes Mila wall cost effective in the middle and long term. The pure and timeless design makes the wall a product that can be used for many years. The easy and fast connection technique is important to save labor costs. 
and the versatile and flexible use for different wall configurations is important. Changeable and paintable surface coverings, and we will see that in the workshop. So the wall remains, only the surface changes. Repairable cover sheets means that if there are damages from nails or holes that the walls can be easily repaired. And with the all-sided aluminum frame, Mila wall is a real long-term product. Transport carts are important for economical logistics and walls with an integrated alarm system, loudspeaker walls or sound absorbing walls. So you never know what the future brings and you don't have to start to invent something yourself. The TUV tested walls of series 100 and 160 give you a certain level of safety and surface coverings fire retardant according to international standards as well. And lastly, proven in many museums and famous art fairs. Let's have a look at some international museums. The Teft Museum is using Mila wall modules of series 100, three meters high and painted in the same color like the building walls, even with the same bottom plate. And the wall configuration is a simple and classical U-shaped wall configuration. This was a Watteau exhibition. And in this case, it was important for the exhibition owner uh, to not damage the walls by nails. So all the art objects were hung from the top of the walls three and a half meters high and all painted. This is a picture of the Art Basel in Miami Beach, three and a half meter high walls, 60 millimeters thick in series 660. All walls are painted and the gap on the bottom between wall and floor is closed by a bottom plate. The Art Basel owns about 8,000 walls that they use for the art fair in Basel and Miami Beach. And here you can imagine how important an easy and fast connection technique is with this big quantity time counts. The textile museum is using about 300 nailable walls in three meters height in different angles. And sometimes in combination with showcases. And here is a typical picture that shows the situation after the installation of the walls. When the walls that are used many times have different colors and then are painted in one color. Daimler at the Potsdamer Platz in Berlin. In this case, Mila wall is installed as a monolithic wall, three and a half meters high, eight meters long, and one meter deep. The Tension Heritage Museum in China, this photo is interesting because it shows a view on the walls and their configura configurations from above. The walls are two and a half meters high and the museum is using the walls in their foyer and for their changing exhibitions. Dragon Skies is a project with many custom elements like the cutouts for the showcases or the curved shaped cutout in the middle. And the walls are again installed as a monolithic wall with another one meter wall on top. So the entire wall is four and a half meters high. The African American Museum is a very good example for walls in different angles, three and a half meters high. And the Cartoon Museum in London, here the walls are 2.2 meters high, and this is a good example that we not only produce walls in standard heights, we can produce every height up to four meters and on top of each other up to six meters. The Heritage Museum in uh, South Korea is special because this 
monolithic wall, uh, contains showcases, multimedia technique, and uh, it's a bit hard to see, but they also integrated drawers for their famous coin collections. And lastly, the movie museum in Potsdam, they are using telescoping brackets to fix the walls to the ceiling, so they have single walls that they use. And imagine how great it is to use sound walls to bring your visitors into a special mood towards the theme of the exhibition and not to place, need to place a, a black loudspeaker boxes somewhere. The Abu Dhabi Art Fair is using about 1,800 walls in three and a half meter height for their art exhibition. As a conclusion, I would like to show you a quick video. Mila Wall, the modular wall system by MBA. MBA sets the standard in design, features, and sustainability. Ready-made wall configurations can be assembled in minutes. It takes only a few seconds to connect Mila wall modules. From the outside, the connection technique is invisible. The vertical sides of Mila wall are identical as are the horizontal. Therefore, Mila wall can be used for a large variety of applications. Adjustable feet level out ground unevenness up to 60 millimeters. Corner profiles and angle profiles provide endless design possibilities. Additional profiles for further angle positions are also available within our standard program. Walls can be connected at any position of a wall run, entirely grid independent. This affords total freedom in design and form. Mila Wall allows creative design for all building shapes. Through the use of centering bolts and turnbuckles, wall elements can be stacked vertically up to six meters. Mila wall elements are available in many standard formats as well as custom formats. All elements can be connected in a matter of seconds. 175 colors and textures are available in the wide range of MBA's surface covering program. MBA surface coverings include both permanent and removable adhesive backings and can be painted with acrylic latex paint. Graphic coverings can be attached too if wanted. Wide range of accessories for changing exhibitions and events. The aluminum frame makes the modules extremely durable. Further attributes such as changeable wall coverings, cost-effective and fast installation and dismantling, and a timeless design make a major contribution to sustainability. Invisible connection technique, modular construction, grid independent, all angles from zero to 180 degrees are possible. Alarm wall modules and sound wall modules are part of the Mila wall program. Built-in showcases and drawers can be integrated. Inline walls can be realized with ceiling connectors. Mila Wall by MBA, the intelligent and sustainable wall system. I would uh, like to show you a few very creative designs on modular basis. We, uh, we invited five leading architect firms for a contest. And the challenge was to create the spirit of a city with modules on not more than 20 square meters. One condition was that about 80% of the materials had to be modular, to be reused, and about 20% was allowed to use custom-built components. The goal was to present all five cities to architects and designers in an evening event in Stuttgart. The design teams presented their ideas and the guests had the possibility to vote for their favorite. So we had London, Copenhagen, Istanbul, Budapest, and Paris. And our idea with this event was to show how creative modular building can be 
and that it's possible to create unique designs on modular and reusable basis. London was designed by Markgraf. Their idea was that London is famous for the tube, for the underground, but London also has an upper ground. So they used four walls in different heights to create the tube map. But the different walls were also used as roads. So from the backside, the roads were designed with the typical designs of the streets in London. Brückner designed Copenhagen, and this was the only design team who had the idea of changing the, de the design. Because of the fast and easy connection technique, and the high flexibility, their idea was to have a closed room in the beginning with the Denmark flag from the outside and just with this little window to have a look inside. And then during the presentation, within 15 minutes, we totally changed the space and put the inside to the outside. And so the city silhouette of Copenhagen appeared. In the inside, sound walls were used with the typical sounds of Copenhagen and there was a mermaid costume where uh, the visitors had fun dressing uh, like the little mermaid on the stone in the harbor. Istanbul was designed by Tamshik and they have used walls in many different angles like a kaleidoscope. On the outside in red on the inside covered with a special mirror surface. The walls on top were at the beginning almost flat and at the end almost straight. Inside we used sound walls and together with the pro uh, projection and the sound it was a very emotional atmosphere inside this installation when the whole projection was moving on the ground. Budapest was designed uh, by Liga Nova and they were inspired by the architecture of the buildings and the ornaments. Inside they uh, wanted to create a special bath atmosphere because Budapest is well known for their bathing culture. So during the event steam was coming out of the bench uh, so you had really the, the feeling of a steam bath. They also used Venetian mirrors, so when the monitors behind the mirrors were off, it was just the mirror without any picture showing. And the special lamp on top also created a very nice texture on the surface. Paris was designed by Holzer Kobler in Switzerland. They said Paris is well known for their buildings and towers. So they created a tower with a twist. They used walls, three meters high, but they have not used them vertically, they used them horizontally and put them on top of each other up to six meters in height. The idea was to build a tower not with a view from the tower, but with a view inside the tower. So we made a cutout in one of the walls and this wall was also uh, com uh, combined with a radar detector and with a sound wall. So when people had a look inside, a very emotional George Chorus was singing. So at the end, uh, the visitors, uh, the audience wrote their favorite and I must say that it was a very tight decision and the winner was Istanbul. Before we come to the end, a few words about MBA. MBA was founded in 1975. The headquarter is located in southern Germany in Reutlingen, about 30 minutes away from the Stuttgart airport. We have a wide product range with walls, space structure systems, self-adhesive surface coverings, and we have won uh, international design awards for our products and uh, also the TUV certificates. Ladies and gentlemen, we have large and small samples here and we would be happy to demonstrate the details to you in the workshop later on. So 
Thank you very much for your attention.